eternal life is now on my trail. I got my regular little call for me. Just need a one last nail. The reason um, we covered the song Eternal Life in, in our set was because I, would, I, I wanted to expose the song to a different audience, a hard rock audience. This is a fucking song by a guy named Jeff Buckley who died very, very soon. He only did one record. You guys don't know this song, but I've done enough that you already know. So check this out. This is dedicated to anybody who's lost a loved one because Everybody lives on in this world in some way. We all have eternal life. Well, I'm a metalhead, you know, let's be honest. <laughs> As was Jeff when he was 17 too, right? So, I mean, I love playing it hard and loud. I mean, our version is completely different than his, obviously, but but to, just to, to have the song live on, you know, in a club or with the whiskey a go-go, you know, at one in the morning with a packed house, just to have it live, just to keep it going, that's really the reason. I hadn't heard singing like that in so long. Like when I grew up, rock bands, you know, played, they tried to play their best and, and they tried to sing their best and, and you know, um, you know, really push themselves musically. And it se seemed as if in the 90s that that became really unhip, you know, to sing. We were just flipping through the channels and uh, well, it was on MTV and, they, and the VJ said, um, Jeff Buckley is presumed missing. And my wife drove in and I go, move over. She goes, what's wrong? I go, Jeff Buckley like went swimming and they can't find him and they you know, don't know where he's at. And um, I just got in the car you know, with my five-year-old son and drove all the way up to Cheney and just sat there all night. You know, and he fell asleep in my chest and, and we just sang songs. Because I didn't know what to do with that, that grief. I didn't know what to do. 